There we go, guys. Today we are going to install Windows 10 on a MacBook Pro. Easy step by step with some guidelines and free links for you. So first we want to download Windows 10's ISO file. To do so, I'm going to scroll down and then click on Select Edition here to select Windows 10 Multi Edition. And then I'm going to select Confirm to continue. And next we want to select the language. I'm going to click on that box again and then select English United States because that's my region. Then I'm going to click on confirm once again. Now this is important. So most programs nowadays require to have 64-bit download, okay? So I'm going to select that 64-bit download, click on it to download. So if I click on this arrow over here, it is downloading right now. So next, I'm going to skip forward because this will take some time to download. Okay, guys, now we are finished downloading Windows 10, this image iOS file. Now we are going to get Bootcamp Assistant. To do that, first, I'm going to click on this X here to close all these windows because we don't need that anymore. Next, we will go to Finder and then I'm going to select Application and this utility. Then we want to select Bootcamp Assistant. After that, I'm going to click on Continue. And by default, my Win 10 is selected. If you're not, click on this arrow and then go to your folder, which is Download, and then click on your Win 10. So now I'm going to come down here. This is important, guys. We want to select Petition to what a need as well as what is the appropriate for your computer storage, okay? For this example, I'm going to select 69 and then I'm going to click on install. And this will take some time, so let's skip forward. When that download is finished, you'll see this window pops up. Next language to install English United States and Time and currency, English, United States, perfect. And keyboard input method is US. Now I'm going to click on next. After that, I'm going to click on I don't have a product key. Then I'm going to select Windows 10 Pro and then click on next. After that, I'm going to click on I accept the license term and click on next. And once again, this will take some time. So let's skip forward. When that download is finished, You'll see this window pops up. Next, by default, my region is United States. That is perfect. I'm going to click on yes. Then the keyboard layout is US. That is perfect. Click on yes. Add another keyboard layout. I'm going to click on skip. I'm going to select I don't have internet right now because we can set up later. And I'm going to click right here. Continue with limited setup. In this case, I'm going to type in my name here and then click on next. And here you have the option of putting your password or not. I'm going to select no password and then click on next. And I'm going to turn all these seeing off here. After that, I'm going to click on accept. And let Katana help you getting things done. I'm going to click on not now. And as you can see here, be sure your computer stay plugged in and don't turn it off because the window is getting ready. And once again, this will take some time, so let's skip forward. When that download is finished, you'll see this window pops up. Next, I'm going to select on next here to continue. And then I will check on this I accept box here and then click on install. So next, I'm going to skip forward. When that download is finished, you'll see this window pops up. Next, restart system recommended box is checked. I'm going to click on finish here to continue. And once again, I'm going to skip forward. Okay, there you go, guys. I'm going to do a couple more things here, okay? So first, we want to connect to the internet. To do that, I'm going to come down here to this internet icon, click on it, and then I'm going to select my internet, and then click on connect, and I'm going to type in my password, and then click on next. Now my internet is connected. Next, I'm gonna come over here to the start menu, click on it, and then go to Apple software update. Click on that. So next, I'm going to skip forward. After that, I'm going to click on install two items here. 
and then click on yes. So next I'm going to skip forward and there you will see this window pops up. Next I'm going to click on yes to confirm and now the computer is restarting itself. We are almost done guys. We have a couple more things to do. After this update, we will update Windows. And once again, this will take some time, so I'm going to skip forward. It is quite simple and easy, pretty much straightforward. So next, we will go to the search box right here, and I'm going to type in update. And as you can see right here, we want to select checks for updates. Okay, there you go guys. We have a bunch of software that we need to update for the computer and I'm going to scroll down, wait until it's finished here and then we will see the update button appear. So for the window to work properly, we have to install a lot of updates here guys. As you can see, it's a lots and lots of information that we need to take the update for running Windows 10 on your MacBook Pro. However though, it's all pretty much automatic. It's easy. As soon as this install update button appear, we will click on it and then it's pretty much almost done. If you guys think this video is useful, guys, give us thumbs up and follow me on Encoded Fashion so I can provide more awesome tech tips like this. So next, I'm going to skip forward because this will take some time to download. So as you can see, guys, now this install now button appear. I'm going to click on it to install the updates. It is take a little bit of time, but as I said, it's all automatic and it's just straightforward. So once again, now we are going to click on restart now to restart the computer. And once again, I'm going to skip forward. Okay, there you go, guys. We just update our Windows as well as Apple software. If I look down here, you see this written icon here. I will click on that icon there and then to see if we need to update anything else. So restart required. If that happened, guys, be sure to click on it and then click on restart now again because it has a lot, a lot of information that Windows need and we want to take as many updates as we can to help protect and hopefully Windows will work really well after it took all the updates. And once again, I'm going to skip forward. Okay, now looks like we are all good to go. However, though, I'm going to show you a couple of things here before we continue to switching mode between Windows and Mac. I want to go into Microsoft Edge here and I'm going to click on this complete setup and then continue with our signing in because I want to check out if the windows work okay. So let me type in encoder fashion here and then press return into on the keyboard here. Then click on encoder fashion YouTube. So as you can see, now we have the auto. We have pretty much everything perfectly, guys. This is a successfully download and run Windows 10 Pro on your MacBook Pro. So how cool is that, guys? So next, I'm going to let me mute this a little bit. Next, I'm going to close out this window here. Once again, this is window. Why no? Because now the X is on the right rather than on the left. Mac is everything on the left and window everything on the right. If you guys are Mac user, you know what I'm talking about. So right now, I'm going to click on this X here to close all the window on the right corner. Okay. And here we go. This is Last but important, we have to know how to switch back between Windows and Mac OS. To do that, I'm going to click on this arrow down here and then go to this boot camp and then come to restart in Mac OS, click on it. And there you go, I'm going to click on OK here. And here we are back in Mac OS. I'm going to type in my password here and then click on this arrow here. Okay, now we are back in macOS guy as where we left off. So I'm going to close this window, okay? So click on this X here to close as well as this X here closing my note here. Now I'm going to switch back to Windows, okay? To do that, I'm going to go to this Apple icon here and then come down here to restart. Before you click on restart, 
pressing on option key and then click on restart okay and then keep pressing on it until you see this boot menu pops up so continue pressing on it there you go guys this is the boot menu that i'm talking about i'm going to release my option key and then click one on this window and then click on this arrow here to switch to window and there you have it guys we are successfully installed window 10 on your macbook pro 